Happy learning! Hi guys, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the second series on common laboratory animals. Uh, in this, uh, we will see the different routes of drug administration, blood collection techniques, and what are the differential features in the species in this video. First, we will see the differentiation criteria between male and female in case of uh, rats. In case of rats and mice, male and female animals can be differentiated by observing the distance between anal and uh, genital papilla, which is greater in the males. You can see in this diagram, the distance between the anus and the genital papilla is more in case of males. Even after the adulthood, uh, the scrotum can be easily identified in male rats. Well, let us see the differentiation criteria between male and female in other species. In case of uh, rabbits and uh, guinea pigs, it can be identified by causing eversion of penis or vulva, which is a slight pressure applied to the external genitalia. In case of cats and dogs, it is easily distinguishable due to the presence of vagina and penis. Let us see the differences uh, between Bister and uh, Sprague Dolly rats. In case of uh, the Bister rats, they have a wider head, uh, long ears and tail length always uh, is shorter than that of the body length. Whereas in case of Sprague Dolly rats, they have longer and narrower head, longer tail which may be equal or longer than the body length. Sprague Dolly rats are less active, calm and easily to handle in comparison to the Vister rats. Why Swiss albino mice is so called? Let us see why it is so called as. These mice are the progeny of two male and seven female albino mice obtained by Dr. Clara Lynch of the Rockefeller Institute, Switzerland. Nowadays, Swiss albino mice is very widely used in pharmacological research. However, any white mouse is referred to as Swiss, even it does not originate from the true Swiss stock. Let us see the roots of our drug administration. First is uh, intragastric administration uh, in the rats. The intragastric administration uh, can be it can be administered in a volume of 5 to 20 ml per kg in mice, rats, rabbits, primates, and even the larger species. The drug reaches the stomach and uh, it can reach in the esophagus up to 2 gram per kg in case of fishes. Let us see the parenteral roots of uh, drug administration. A 90 degree injection is intramuscular, subcutaneous is 45 degree angle and intravenous is 25 degree less than or equal to 25 degree angle or 10 to 15 degree is intradermal injection. You can see at the right side of also the angle of injection. The first is intramuscular route of drug administration. You can see in case of uh, rat and in case of rabbits. In the intramuscular route of uh, drug administration, uh, it can be administered to rats, rabbits, fishes or even larger species. The volume administered is less. It is less than uh, 0.05 ml per kg. In rodents and other uh, mammals, quadriceps, triceps, dorsal lumbar or semi-membranous or semi-tendinous muscles are used. In case of fishes, the intramuscular route is uh, administered between dorsal fin and lateral line and base of the dorsal fin. The subcutaneous uh, route of uh, drug administration, you can see in case of uh, rats and mice, the skin is uh, popped off and in the midst uh, the drug is uh, administered. It is evident from this picture. And uh, this is a subcutaneous injection in case of rabbits. The subcutaneous uh, route of uh, drug administration can be administered in mice, rats, rabbits, fish and larger species at a volume of less than 5 ml per kg. In rodents and mammals, neck, shoulder, flank and intrascapular regions are used for intra subcutaneous uh, administration. In case of fishes, the midline and just anterior to the dorsal fin is used for subcutaneous route of drug administration. The next is intravenous uh, route of drug administration. Uh, you can see uh, the rats or mice are kept in the rat holder or mice holder and the tail is usually used for intravenous drug administration. 
So the mice, rabbits, fish and larger species, uh, the volume can be administered at uh, less than 5 ml per kg. In case of a uh, mouse and rat, a tail and saphenous vein are used. In case of uh, rabbits, ear and cephalic vein is uh, used for drug administration. Veins in case, uh, used in larger species are cephalic, saphenous and femoral and jugular vein. In case of fishes, artery or uh, caudal veins are used and the drug is administered at uh, 2 to 4 ml per kg hourly. This is the intradermal route of uh, drug administration in case of uh, mice. The intradermal route of uh, drug administration, the drug administered uh, is very very less. It is 0.05 to 0.1 ml per kg in case of mice, rats, rabbits and fishes or even in larger species. In the skin, it is uh, the drug is administered in the dermis. The intraperitoneal route of drug administration is very common. It is uh, administered uh, like this in case of rats and mice or even in rabbits. Uh, the drug administered is uh, less than uh, 10 ml per kg in case of mice, rats, rabbits, fish and even in larger species in the peritoneal cavity of the animals. Intranasal route of uh, drug administration is uh, less preferable. It is rarely used. And the drug administered will be in uh, is very less it is in microliters 35 to 50 microliters and uh, in case of larger species it is 200 to 500 microliters and that is mice and rats it is 35 to 50 microliters in the nostrils and in case of uh, rabbit dog cat and primates it is 200 to 500 microliters in the nostrils then intracerebroventricular uh, route of drug administration it is really rarely used for uh, CNS uh, uh, studies. You can see from the picture it is uh, the drug it is administered uh, like this. The drug administered in uh, rats and mice is less than 5 microliters. It is administered in the ventricles of brain and also in the specific regions of uh, brain like uh, intra amygdala or intra hippocampal etc. The topical route of uh, drug administration is used for assessing the, uh, the thermal toxicity. It is applied as uh, gels or ointments or patches. Then uh, let us see the various uh, blood collection uh, techniques used for biochemical and uh, hematological uh, data recordings after drug administration. Uh, the common uh, sites of blood collection in case of mouse, it is a superficial uh, temporal vein, saphenous vein, tail vein, uh, retroorbital or cardiac puncture. In case of rats, it is same. That is a tail vein, saphenous vein, superficial temporal vein, cardiac sublingual or uh, jugular vein. In case of uh, dogs, cats and non-human primates, cephalic saphenous veins, femoral and jugular veins are used for blood collection. In guinea pig and hamster, Saphenous and uh, vein is used, cardiac puncture is also used and in case of rabbits, marginal ear vein or uh, uh, at the terminal uh, cardiac puncture could be used with anesthesia. So you can see the needle size to be used uh, and the maximum volume that can be collected in a few species. For mice, the bore size is very very uh, less, 23 to 25 gas. You can collect a maximum of 1 ml. In case of rats, it is 19 to 21 gauze. Uh, maximum ml that could be collected is 10 to 15 ml. In case of rabbits, 19 to 21 uh, gauze, 600 to 60 to 200 ml. And in case of guinea pigs, 20 to 21 gauze is used. 1 to 25 ml can be collected. Let us see uh, the average uh, blood volume and the maximum uh, blood sampling. Uh, per time it is in case of mouse it is uh, 0.3 ml in case of rats it is 2.5 ml for hamster it is 0.5 ml for rabbits it is uh, 25 ml uh, in case of ferrets it is uh, 5 to 6 ml goat sheep it is 400 ml and 600 ml respectively in case of monkeys it is 20 ml and chicken it is 20 ml well, let us see the if the repeatedly the blood is collected for any kinetic studies, uh, they give a timeline of uh, a week or uh, two weeks or 30 days. 
weekly uh, in one week gap they can uh, collect uh, 7 point per, per 5 percent of the blood volume or every 14 days uh, they can collect 10 percent of the blood volume or in case of 30 days 15 percent of the blood volume can be uh, taken in case of uh, mouse you can uh, take the data from this table for rats and uh, rabbits the same I have given for hamster and uh, guinea pig also you can slowly refer this if possible you can utilize this and uh, this data is for uh, monkey and uh, ferret and this is for uh, dogs and cats this is for goat and uh, sheep usually goats and uh, sheep are actually sheep are preferable for uh, the immunoglobulins uh, studies or immunological studies or vaccines let us see the blood collection technique first which is retroorbital plexus or sinus so it is near the eye uh, the blood is uh, collected with a vacutainer so this is the blood collection uh, technique now let us see next uh, superficial or uh, temporal or mandibular vein so it is near the mandibular uh, region in case of mice and rats so it can be collected near the mandibular region the next is uh, lateral uh, saphenous vein so this is the lateral uh, saphenous uh, vein region the blood could be collected you can see the uh, vein which is uh, passing through the uh, near the femoral region and the blood could be collected from that uh, saphenous vein the next is uh, tail vein is very widely used for collection of blood in case of uh, rats and mice they can uh, use a rat holder or a mice holder the vein is uh, visible in the tail the blood could be collected like this the next is uh, this is also a less preferable technique which is a tail snip you can see this is the tail snip uh, method of uh, blood collection in case of rats and mice and next is uh, the blood collection uh, in case of guinea pig using a tarsal vein so it is uh, present in the tarsal region uh, from the vein uh, the blood is collected next is uh, very frequently used region in case of rabbits is the marginal ear vein which is uh, usually the ear is uh, shaved and uh, it is used for collection of you can see the uh, vein which is visible the blood could be collected from the rabbits next is uh, blood vessel cannulation uh, that is a rat femoral vein if uh, repeated kinetic studies or there is a need for repeated blood collection then it could be cannulated the femoral region could be cannulated and it could be used for repeated blood collection in case of some studies the next is uh, cardiac puncture usually it is uh, preferable in case of terminal uh, dissection of uh, animal so the animal is uh, dissected uh, it is killed by a cardiac puncture and uh, after killing uh, the organs could be utilized for histopathological studies also now let us see the blood collection sites which is a compilation of the previous slides so in case of uh, the blood collection which is not requiring anesthesia or saphenous vein collection in case of rats mice and guinea pig dorsal pedal vein uh, in case of rats and mice it does not require anesthesia and blood collection requiring anesthesia local or general anesthesia tail vein in case of rats and mice tail snip in case of mice orbital sinus in case of rats and mice jugular vein in case of rats and mice temporal cannula uh, that is a, we, have, we have seen temporary cannula insertion in the femoral vein in case of rats and mice blood vessel cannulation for rat mice guinea pig and ferret tarsal vein in case of guinea pigs and marginal vein and artery in case of rabbits and the terminal procedures are cardiac puncture in case of rats mice guinea pig rabbits and ferrets and orbital sinus in case of rats and mice let us see the hematological data of uh, common laboratory animals you can see the blood volume in case of mice it is 60 to 75 ml per kg and it is uh, 54 to 70 ml per kg in case of uh, the rats 
The blood volume is 76 to 107 ml per kg in case of dogs. It is 47 to 65 ml per kg in case of cats. 57 to 65 ml per kg in case of rabbits. The blood pressure you can see in smaller animals it is high. Usually 183 to 160 in case of uh, the mice. It's very similar to humans 84 to 134 in case of uh, the rats. It is 150 in case of hamsters. Ferrets it is approximately around 140 to 175. Guinea pigs it is 80 to 94. Rabbits it is 90 to 130. And in case of cats it is 120. And in case of dogs it is 95 to 136. And you can see the uh, RBC count, uh, which is approximately higher in case of mice, uh, 7 to 12 uh, millions uh, per cubic uh, mm. It is uh, same as in case of rats. Hamster, it is uh, 4 to 10 millions uh, per cubic uh, millimeter. In gerbils, it is very high, 8 to 10 millions uh, per cubic uh, millimeter and in case of cats and dogs it is similar 5 to 10 uh, millions uh, per cubic millimeter and the platelets are around uh, 140 to 330 340 in case of uh, 340 lakhs in case of uh, the mice it is around uh, 300 to 700 uh, play, uh, lakhs in case of uh, the cats and it is around 200 to 900 lakhs uh, in case of the dogs. The hemoglobin value is uh, very similar uh, to humans in case of mice and rats. It is slightly lesser in case of hamsters, gerbils and it is 12 to 18 in case of dogs. Let us see the biochemical data of uh, some common laboratory animals. The protein uh, which is present in uh, the mouse is 3 to 7 grams uh, per deciliters. In case of rats it is 5 to 7 grams per deciliter and it is 5 to 7.5 in case of rabbits. The albumin is very similar that it is around 2 to 5 and glucose you can see it is very similar in case of humans 62 to 175. Urea nitrogen is 12 to 28. Creatinine is less than 1 in all the species that is the laboratory animals and in case of cholesterol it is less in case of mouse 26 to 82 and in rats it is very similar to humans 40 to 130 milligrams per deciliter. In case of rabbits it is 35 to 53 milligrams per deciliter. So it's a short nutshell information of the, all the blood collection techniques, uh, the drug administration, uh, routes in case of uh, the laboratory animals. Kindly go through all the series available in the pharmacological and toxicological screening methods uh, playlist in the Pharma Topics channel. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Kindly like. If you like this video, like, share, and then you can comment. Thank you.